And the winner is Bill Chapman, Composite WTBS. This business began as an experiment in technology, and uh, I hope we continue to do that. He would show up in the rooms with all of this prep and all of these equations. In the beginning, Bill was the go-to guy for anything that had to do with the look and feel of Turner Sports. Bill was involved with what the creative look of a presentation would be and what it took to sell these presentations. The mind thought in trying to put all this together, I mean, again, nobody was doing it. He created a division that would be able to repurpose animation, basically creating an animation studio here in Atlanta, which is a first. Bill's real talent is to create the opportunities so the next big technology or process or creative can actually be found. Bill Chapman, a hero. Let me think about that. I have to have an attorney present when this sucker is screened, I will. Ready when you are, Chapman. Slander, libel, defamation. This is going to be fun. Bill was called a writer-producer, but uh, no one ever really remembers him doing Andy Griffith topicals or movie promos. Because after working one session with him, I kind of knew what this guy was about. He was about perfection. He was about inventing something that had never been invented. He's always been really good at just taking things and making it do what maybe it wasn't originally intended to do, taking it farther than most people could or would. Get set for round two as America's team, the Atlanta Braves and the San Diego Padres, slog it out for the National League Heavyweight Championship. I learned a lot from Bill about packaging, giving it a style and giving it a look. Smoking tea was a trademark. I mean, you knew that something big was coming on TV when you saw that smoking tea. Sorry to interrupt. How about some good dirt from the days at Design Effects? By the time of the Olympics, Design Effects was probably one of the hottest creative design teams in the country. And it was kind of interesting that it came out of Atlanta. Bill was a senior producer there. Very experienced, very good. Bill really understood the technology inside and out. If you're gonna be in the world of visual effects and broadcast design, I think it makes a big, big difference. Much better. Carry on. He does a very good job, obviously. He's, he's you know, he's Bill Chapman, but on the social side. Generally, people think he's very quiet, which he is, but uh, once you get to know him, he, he won't shut up, so. He was an inspirational leader. He would actually do these clandestine attacks on pretty stodgy business meetings with about 17 or 18 animators dressed up with uh, air guns or silly string. But what about the hair? We saw it grow over the years to uh, Herculean proportions. Imagine my surprise when he walks in the door and he looks like a guy from ZZ Top or Yanni. <laughs> no, that mullet was had to go, had to go. The Chapman look is a scarf fluttering in the breeze, and he's about ready to get on a biplane with a champagne bottle and a, a long-legged blonde beauty. I remember the retreat where he actually uh, got hurt. I can't believe Chapman, what a whim. He actually broke his hair. He still is trying to play off being a runner, but I think it really is just a lot of sweating. Just when you thought you were out, Turner pulled you back in, eh, Chapman? Bill, to me, you know, is one of the grandfathers, oh, I'm sorry, Bill, of virtual technology. Creation of virtual sets really set us apart from the other guys out there that were doing things around sports. The amount of time and effort that went into the NFL was crazy, but it was so fulfilling at the end. He knows what it takes, he puts the right people on the job, and it all worked. We're 
doing the Harvey Birdman Attorney at Law show for Cartoon Network. We did break four production companies' backs, making the first five episodes. Doing it through that traditional process was causing a lot of expensive mistakes. Back in that time, Flash was not being used as a broadcast tool, and Bill had the vision to apply this technology to cell animation. All of a sudden, there's this beautiful production paradigm set up here at Turner Studios. Bill makes the impossible tasks possible. Awesome! Bill speak is when you're in a meeting with Bill and everybody's faces in the meeting just goes blank because nobody knows what he's talking about. The migration to nonlinear is increasing the workload of the computer as it pertains to the bandwidth of the infrastructure. And I would just nod politely and not understand any of what he was saying. Shifting that bandwidth to SAN based fiber optic transfers of di digital entertainment. What are you saying? I mean, that's just brilliant. All of that for an Xbox in our DVD suite. Bill Chapman did a lot to work diligently to bring salaries up to a national level. And by doing that, he was able to attract and retain some of the best talent in the business. He really has a sense of what's happening out there and where technology is leading us, and again, how to apply the creative process to that technology. Bill's contribution to Turner, and that's to Atlanta, is in his ability to bring creativity and innovation to our company, which is a reflection on the city of Atlanta as a whole. Him giving back to the community through Georgia State and other endeavors just says a lot about him and, and always wanting to share. You know, he takes pride in what he knows and what he's done. He's very scholarly. I really think that he'll end up in a university. I hope it's ours. Congratulations, Bill. Congratulations, Bill. You totally deserve this. Way to go, Chapman. 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 Chapman.